everyone and welcome to this video on how to add some color to our origami. Well, let's take a look at this fish that I folded and it's out of a piece of white copy paper or printer paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take some of these uh, markers that I have here and I'm going to color the fish. And this is more of just uh, an informational uh, sort of thing as opposed to something that you I mean, obviously, you can color your fish before you're done, but what we're going to do is I'm going to color this, and then I'm going to unfold the piece of paper. Uh, that way we can see when we're finished, when it's just the paper is all open again, uh, the patterns that went into folding this and where uh, the different parts of the origami are on the original sheet of paper. Uh, what you can do is if, if it's a fold that you do on a regular basis, is once you know where those different colored areas are, you can actually go with a computer program and print out your own custom origami paper that will have like scales and a little eye and everything on it before you actually fold the piece of paper. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting to watch. You have this, this paper with what seems like just random patterns on it and once it's folded it becomes a fish that's fully colored in. Alright, so I'm going to take this fish that I have and let's see here, let's, um, let's use, I guess, red. And what we'll do with the red is I'm going to color in this, these tails right here that we had. Now this isn't going to be perfect because I don't want to get you know, ink all over the table that I'm on and everything. But I'm just going to color these in, try not to get the ink on the rest of the fish. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking right now and just color so that I can um, make this go a little bit faster. All right, so there we have a colored in fish. I guess I could add a mouth too. In here. All right, so we have our colored in fish, and I know I didn't do a really that great of a job with it, but now let's unfold this piece of paper and see what it looks like once it's unfolded. So you have to be very careful when unfolding origami because sometimes it's very easy to rip the piece of paper, especially if you're using printer paper or copy paper because it's just not forgiving at all once it's been folded. So you kind of have to just, there's no set way of doing this. I think I just ripped something. Oh, maybe not. All right, just gently unfold all this and then lay it out. Good, so now you can see what I colored in. You can see all the folds that we did and so if I had this square piece of origami paper, I could actually, with um, some sort of vector editing program like Adobe's Illustrator or Corel Draw or something, I can actually figure out what all these angles are. And I can print, I could print scales with the little eyes and everything. But when you start, if you're if you're folding for someone, uh, you can't really tell what this is. And as you fold it, it's gonna grow and grow and grow into a fish. So here is my unfolded, colored in fish origami. See you in a future video. Good luck folding.